So Tony, um, we're recording this on Saturday morning by now, as everyone listens to this, except for those who are watching live here in our studio audience, go on record. Think the Jags pull it off today. Boy, it's going to be tough. Yeah, it is man to, to beat, uh, to beat Kansas city, which is probably the best team in the AFC, maybe the best team in football. I don't know, but it's the NFL on any given Saturday. Uh, I'm going to predict the Jags win just so I keep my job. You know, you don't, you don't have to put that at the end. (laughs) That's not required. Well, if I say otherwise, some jack off with a website who's never been a journalist in his life will put it as a headline. So it's funny because when I was asking my dad before he got out of Dodge in between bites of the shrimp scampi, I was asking, Hey, who do you think is going to win this weekend? And so he went through all of his picks. And when he, of course, when he was finished, he said, what about you? As we're going through, my wife goes, don't say the Jaguars. (laughs) And I go, what? And she goes, why do you care if the Jaguars win? I'm like, well, Tony's our friend. And if she goes, yeah, yeah, yeah. But why do you care? And I was like, no, I get it. I understand. She goes, what are you going to do? Go down to Jacksonville and get your mark picture with the belt, with the title or with the trophy. (laughs) And I was like, well, I hadn't thought of that, but that does sound like a very good idea. Yes. Yes. I bet Tony would let me do that as a matter of fact. Yeah. And she goes, and that's when I was like, wow, she's been around the wrestling business a little too long. Yeah. Somebody mentioned, I don't know who it was. I don't know if it's a wrestler in our front office or just me, maybe a friend. I, but somebody mentioned to me, say, Hey, if the Jacksonville Jaguars win. Oh, isn't that crazy? I know where you're going. Yeah. yeah. You think we can go to the super bowl, get tickets to the super bowl. And I said, not on your fucking life. I would not. Would you go to a super bowl? I did go to a super bowl and you're going to laugh at this. Uh-huh. I went to the super bowl. With Tony Khan's help. <laughs> Did you really? <laughs> yeah. A few years ago, the Super Bowl yeah. was in Atlanta, as you well recall. Yeah. I, that weekend they ran an indie show and I was trying to get you a gig and you no showed, um, hmm. Alex Marvez showed up and they, they hired him instead. Anyway, <laughs> uh, he, uh, he helped me get tickets for, uh, the Patriots and the Rams in Atlanta. I said, Hey man, uh, You know, I don't know how to ask this. I'm not asking for comp tickets, but do you have access to Super Bowl tickets that I could buy? And he hooked me right up with a person from the Jags organization said, Hey, this is my buddy, Conrad, take care of him. And and I was like, no, no, don't take care of me. I mean, please help me line it up, but I want to pay for the tickets. And I had to sort of arm wrestle with the guy, but eventually I paid for the tickets and yeah, I went to my first Super Bowl. Was it, was it a great experience? Oh no, I don't recommend it at all. Yeah. I, I listen. Some people like to say, hey, on my bucket list would be to go to a Super Bowl, would do blah, blah, blah. My bucket list would n- not ever go to a Super Bowl. Well, I, listen, as somebody who has now been there, uh-huh. I would agree with you. Yeah. Now, let me explain, because I'm sure some of our listeners feel like we're being assholes here, and I don't mean to be. No, but no. I will say that it is a hassle to get in there. I've been to about 2,000 football games in my life. Uh, Uh, but you have to go, the entire stadium has to go through one set of security. Uh It's just a hassle. They've got barricades all around. Uh, I mean like big concrete barricades and tanks and shit. Like they take security to a new height, which I'm for, I get, but uh, now that I got it out of my system, I don't feel like I need to.